Hey there, Brian Balthazar here from Red Touch Media at the top of the beautiful Beverly Hilton Hotel with Rob Bennett, fashion designer and CEO of V by Rob Bennett. Is that correct? That is V Did by Rob that, Bennett, yes. Okay. You know, we were talking a lot about content today, and we're focusing a lot, uh, you know, we're at the uh, Daytime Emmy Awards, where there's a lot about storytelling, and you're actually taking storytelling into fashion, in That's a way, right. aren't you? Talk to me about that. Well, what we've done is taken a group of people, uh, young, up-and-coming designers, models in Atlanta, and trying to build a ground roots effort to build a clothing line without throwing money at it and being just like everyone else. But there's a story behind everything. Everybody's had a struggle, you know, such as myself, pardon me. Um, you know, I, I survived cancer, so I started doing it to design pieces for the American Cancer Society, of Man, uh, Women's Heart Health, um, and things like that. So what it, that has done is brought us all the way in one year. We've taking, uh, taken a concept all the way to launching in Milan, the first American to do so, uh, first Americans to do so, and the team has been supported with no financing, um, and just the goodwill of people who understand the vision, but we have an extremely high-end exclusive line. So when you wear V by Rob Bennett, and it is a we, um, you're succeeded. You've been there. You've overcome. And it's not just a clothing line. It's a, it's a statement and a story. It's a state of mind. Absolutely. Everybody can make uh, a piece of clothing, but this is something you wear and you're expressing, hey, I've made it. I've overcome a challenge. And that's the key to competing in some kind of market like this and also building these young minds, building them. We got we to gotta make jobs here in America and that's the most important thing and we're making it here in America. You mentioned how competitive the marketplace is. You know, we live in a world where you can have an immense talent but if it doesn't get noticed by the right people or, or the word of mouth isn't there, it may not get recognized. How has technology helped you get the word out about V by Rob Bennett? Well, social media has been indispensable when it comes to that. I mean, that's what we're doing right now. So I'm tweeting out and I have 50 people tweeting and it just kind of snowballs till we have, uh, you know, several thousand followers, uh, tens of thousands of followers, which has led to here, um, to the Red Touch Media, and they've done a great job um, of promoting this event. Uh, I think they understand the vision. I have had a chance to really uh, show them, but I, I think they do. And uh, also uh, Caesar's Palace and Pure. Uh, yeah, tell us about that. What's happening at Caesar's Palace? So we've been blessed by Caesar's Palace and Pure and Angel Management. They're going to have a uh, branding party um, for us on the 28th. So we'll be hosting uh, Pure Nightclub. That's fantastic. So do you try and stay, you know, obviously you're current when it comes to the fashion world. Do you try and stay current when it comes to pop culture, music, entertainment, TV, all of that? Is that all Absolutely. part of the greater picture? Absolutely. Um, we have some uh, a new DJ, uh, Justin Rinkin, who just won uh, awarded uh, cons for the movie The Score. So he's doing original pieces of music to go with each piece that we create. And again, these are very exclusive, extremely high end. We're just not giving it to everybody. They have to understand the vision and want to help and want to build and help these people and, and build the story, making it in America. So what are you listening to and what are you watching right now? Um, listening to the news, watching the stock market, and praying that we can sell a lot of these clothes to build this company. No, just kidding. <laughs> so when you when you got to relax, or when you're working out, what are you listening to music-wise? What helps you like kind of let go? Because you obviously got a lot in your mind working on all these all these elements of your of your work. What do you use to just let go? What do you listen to? So what I do, I listen to Claude Chow. Uh, he's a DJ out of uh, of Europe. So I saw him years ago in Budapest on Marguerite Island. So great guy. Very, you know, low key trance makes you relax and feel good. Um, are you? Yeah, go ahead. go ahead. Are you married to any of your devices? Are you? Are you constantly checking? Are you? Are you always online? Are you always checking your emails? Are you one of these device guys? Can I borrow your phone? Because mine's going dead right now. Yes, I. Does it hurt you a little bit knowing that your phone is dying? I have phantom vibrations in my leg at this point. <laughs> you know, that's a warning sign of something, I right? I know. Well, I appreciate it. I look forward to seeing this story evolve. It seems like there's a lot uh, a lot to look forward to in this business. Is it right? There is. It's, uh, it is growing, and we can't stop it. But it's because of ground roots effort and not throwing money at it. Throwing the story of how people succeeded and how they overcame. 
people uh, want to learn about V by Rob Bennett, how do they lo how do they do that? You can go to V by Rob Bennett dot com. Well, that's a pretty good plan then, right there. That's Thank you it. very Makes much. Makes it easy. Great to Thank meet you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. See you. Thank you.